we start questions, uh, some of the box scores, the records were wrong. Uh, just pass up the full books about their correct records for the teams. And also, uh, Juan Fernandez, is, is the box is wrong, has one block in the game. I believe Charles Jefferson has two. So, questions for players. Bradley, you, you worked so much on your mid-range game over the summer. You look at a game like this and some of the others that you've had, do you think, wow, that was really worth it when you look at a game like this? Yeah, hard work pay, paying off right now. What did it was a situation where they would have to they would have to focus on these guys and they get get the ball out to you and you just you just pick your spots. Yeah, these guys are our primary scorers and I just find open spots and they find me. So Ramon, can you talk about your matchup with against Ramon tonight? He's a tough defender. What was it like and just what was this atmosphere like tonight for you guys? Uh, it was great. I knew coming in, you know, big five and you know the atmosphere would be you know great. Um, he's a good player. Um, you know, give him respect. Um, kind of like similar build, you know. Did a good job on the defensive end, uh, you know, challenging, you know, me and my, my shots and stuff like that. But I'm just happy to get out here with the win. Yes. Now, what, what is it in particular that maybe you did in, in over the last year or two that, that really has made you an offensive threat where, you know, when you came here you were pretty much a defensive player? I'm just a bit more aggressive on offense. Are you more confident now than, than you were in the pit? Is that is that a, just a, a big part of it? Feeling like you can make a shot? Now it's just more a part of my role. I need to take those shots when I'm home. It, it, it seems like you were more comfortable out there tonight than you were the previous five games. What was the biggest difference for you? Same player I was the last five games that I was today, so that's the way I, I feel. Um, my teammates trusted me, and that's huge for me. Uh, I try to stay closer to them when I'm having, not having good games, and, and they help me through all this. So you know, it's, it's actually their credit. And luckily today we had a win, but we need to be, we need to play like this more consistently. Hopefully with Mike back, uh, it'll be better. Ramon, can you just you work through describe it? What, it, what it is about certain teams that allow them to play together in the, in the last couple of minutes of the game, whereas other ones can go one-on-one? -on -one. You guys had a lot of second, third, and fourth passes in the last few possessions. Well, that's something, you know, we're doing practice. Uh, you know, we got a lot of unselfish guys, uh, you know, at the end of the game. You know, I have a lot of confidence in Raleigh, you know, to take that last second shot. Like you said, he's been working all, all, all season, you know, preparing himself for situations like this. And it's just, like I said, just, just gain, gaining confidence in one another. Uh, but that's just our bat, that style of basketball, you know, we pass the ball around. And, you know, like I said, if any given guy is on, you know, that's, that's who we're going to feed the ball to. Right, later, how did you, uh, how did things evolve when you hit that short chunk with 22 seconds uh, to play? Like prior, you know, to taking the shot, did you feel that you were open? Did you see the ball coming? I just, my guy helped me. Seen the opening, the long pass, and I took the shot. Thank you for being with No hesitation. I mean, you don't, you kind of have to point that where no hesitation, just feel good taking that shot. Yeah. Hey, all three, he, he just mentioned the consistency. You guys have had some, obviously, some big wins. Let's talk about the trying to be consistent and play that way every night and get to that point where, you know, you don't have those lapses. Well, uh, I think before the, before the Duke game, um, well, after the Duke game, we, we won like seven out of our last eight games. And then, you know, last five, you know, one loss, one loss, and one. So that's something that we, you know, we've looked at, you know, in the past. We've always, you know, won on long, one streaks, you know, and, you know, had a miss, miss lap or, you know, a game that we lost. But this season is kind of different. Uh, you know, a major, a major thing we want to do is, you know, try to stay consistent. Uh, you know, I told the guys before the game, let's try to get on a consistent one streak. And uh, it's just something we want to focus on by playing, you know, good defense and, you know, capitalize on offense. Ramon, how much of that is stuff that you guys maybe aren't doing, but how much of how much of it is maybe the A-10 just being a really good league this year? Yeah, I mean, it's up for grabs. I mean, any given team, you know, can come in and, you know, you know beat you. So, I mean, like we, we lost to, you know, uh, Dayton at home, you know, Dayton went and lost to St. Bonaventure, and, you know, St. Louis is a great team, went down there and beat them, and we lost to Richmond, so, I mean, it's just going to be a grind out, you know, like, I think the A-10 this year, you know, normally, you know, you tell the top teams on the course year, but, I mean, you can't pick any team, any, 
given any given night, you know, any team's life with a beach. Ramon, when you get in a tight game like tonight, you guys have been in a lot of big games, tight games in the last few years. These guys are still kind of coming up. How, how big of an impact and difference does that make you guys haven't been there and them not? Well, <clears throat> I think Anthony Lee did a great job tonight. Defensively, uh, he had a lot of big blocks. But, I mean, during the course of the year, we had a lot of, you know, big games and a lot of situations where he was in, you know, to prepare him for, for nights like this. So, I think the more experience you get, the more better you are in, in you know, a situation like this. Well, how much better has he got? I mean, Anthony clearly has the talent, but Fran used to talk about how Lavoie always used to be in the right spot at the right time. How much do you see progression there with Anthony in terms of that stuff, being in the right spot, right, right spot on the floor? A lot. Uh, I think he came up big tonight. You know, I, he didn't let himself get down. You know, in the first half, you know, he had two quick fouls. But I mean, Anthony's working. Um, you know, it's his second year. You know, with with um, Mike being out early, you know, he was pushed to you know be a larger role on his team. And I mean, he's progressing. I mean, we're all behind him. You know, we want we want, we want Anthony to do the best he can. And I think he's progressing each game, and he's doing a good job. Are you guys almost at the point where you're kind of just past the point of being used to playing without Mike, and you kind of say whenever he comes back, he comes back? Yeah, well, you know, the last two seasons with, you know, key guys being out and a lot of injuries, it's just something that we've had to deal with in the last couple of years is, I mean, Coach Dunk does a great job, you know, trying to, you know, make us look past that, you know, there's nothing we can do about it, we just got to, you know, continue to play, not make any excuses and go out there and try to win basketball. Juan, well, you hit a, hit a floater late and cut, got to the line a couple of times, hit some free throws, was it a conscious effort on your part to maybe just drive the ball, maybe try to try to get some points that way? Yeah, I thought I... <clears throat> We were a little stagnant at times. Um, they were overplaying, and uh, that's why the game came up, came down to a lot of one-on-one -on -one plays. And uh, I think one of the fouls I got was cutting to the basket, and then the other one drawn foul. You know, it's it's a part of my game that I'm trying to improve. Not only shoot jump shot, but but also try to get to the basket. And, um, trying to work on it. But luckily today I got the calls. Um, you've been you've been through slumps before, and you've, and you've just come out of them every year. Do you just kind of look back at that and say, and use that as experience, and say things will be fine as long as I just keep doing what I'm doing? No, I think you can you can't really look at the past. Uh, you've got to move forward. Uh, there's no point. The only uh, if you look at the past, it's only to learn. But uh, that's behind already. No regrets. You just got to move forward. Like I said, my teammates were big. Uh, they were next to me after that Richmond game too, you know, and, and I felt that confidence from them. And that's really important. Any questions? Thank you, guys.